What's up guys, it's Cookmonkey99 here with you today. I am going over how to automate your ME system. So you can convert those ores that you have, just taking up room inside your ME system, and stuff that we can actually use, like, you know, tin ore, diamond ore, and all that. So I'm just going to get into that, and I'll show you how to do this. So uh, what we're going to do is we have uh, some windmills up there, some extreme high power windmills, which I believe I have in here. Yeah, extreme voltage windmill powers and uh, put some iridium rotors in there so that's gonna be pretty awesome alright so first thing we're, we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and set up our little ME interface well no we have one right here so we can just get them from here that's not a big deal um, let's go ahead and uh, start setting this up now then uh, we're gonna need an item duct do I have a wrench laying around where is a wrench I don't think I have a wrench off hand so I'll just spawn one in real quick. It's not a big deal. Just get a quartz wrench. It doesn't take long. Um, just spawning it in for the sake of everything. Uh, okay, so we got our wrench now. That's perfect. Uh, first things we're going to need is our item duct. But let's put in our macerator first. We want it to be close. There we go. So it can still reach it. Uh, power can flow to it. Uh, we'll go ahead and shoot it out over there that way. Uh, next we'll put in our, I guess, our induction furnace which I think we'll just keep it close enough to right there and then we can put our little item ducks in uh, let's go ahead and see how we can do this here well now we can run it smaller than that, I wish I had a pickaxe, that would have been smarter um, <clears throat> alright we're just going to go ahead and run it over like that and we'll pull that up and we can just hop over that so it will work just fine um, I guess we're going to have to uh, whoa, pull this out, sort of. Up. Ah. <laughs> Alright. Let's get that up. Let's pull this over here. There we go. Perfect. Alright. So, these do not need power since they're automatically going to be coming out of here. That needs to stay like that. Um, probably need a disconnect. You know what? We can just add an extra ME interface and not have to worry about this part. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that. We'll just make this, I guess, our main escape. Get rid of these. And go ahead and throw in our little. ME interface that should be powered alright um, so items are naturally gonna come out of these because it just pumps them out as soon as it's done but we will put a lever on it anyways just for the sake of it um, luckily we have this little piece of wood here to give this power Ooh, it's gonna be awkward alright then I can give this power like so uh, let's make sure this has no redstone effect disabled and ignored perfect so we can see the little lights on now so uh, we're gonna go ahead and bring our glass fiber ooh no we're not we're not we're gonna add our upgrades to it which makes it be able to take more energy so we'll just add five of those not necessary but we're definitely gonna put in 20 no we'll just put in 10 upgrades that should be fast enough we're gonna do the same thing over here ooh no we're not never mind <laughs> I thought these were from uh, a different mod uh, that's gonna need that, I know that. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and bring that through to here. So this got power. This has got full power. Okay. And then this should be warming up. Sweet. So while that's warming up, we'll go ahead and set up this back item duct here. We're gonna have to change around that to that. And we're gonna have to decide what our exported items are. So, um, there's our little Tesseract bringing in our stuff from our little laser drills in this other room over here. So we can see it's bringing in stuff. Um, let's see what we have in here. So we're going to have some tin ore, so we'll go ahead and take one of those. Uh, let's get some cobalt ore. Uh, where's some copper ore? There's some copper ore. We'll take some copper ore, some gold ore, and uh, let's see what else do we have. We could uh, get some... Oh, we can steal some aluminum ore. Aluminum ore. Alright. Now that we have that, we have to wait for this to warm up. So while that's warming up, we can go ahead and uh, I'm just, I guess we're just going to have to wait. So after this wait, we'll be right back, and I'll see you guys in a bit. 
Alright guys, we are back. Our furnace is at 100% and that's looking very nice and uh, tidy. We got our little mace rider fully charged, so let's get to it. Um, oh, one thing we do need to do, we need to put a lever here. So I guess after I'm done digging this for four hours, which I probably should have done in the off time, um, uh, we're going to go ahead and put a lever in here to power this tunnel because it's going to have to pull stuff. And as you notice, it's not actually pulling stuff right now, even though the power's on to pull stuff. Because you have to specify what it wants to pull. So, um, let's export the config. Let's go ahead and put in one of those. And see, now it is exporting this. And it is coming out through here, the little crushed ore. And it should be smelting this fairly quickly. Yep, there it goes. Which is going to come up through here, all the way into our new little thing. It's just going to follow the tunnel, nice and neat like. And the best part is, is it doesn't actually steal the material you put in, so that's amazing. Um, all right, so we'll just be in here for as soon as that hits. We'll see it is pulling the tin ore right now, and there it is. There's the uh, tin ingots right there. It's going up, up, and up as more gets in there, and you can just put as many items as you want in there, and it will finish a complete set of items before going to a next pair of items, which is amazing and great. So, um, next episode, now that you know how to do this and get the basic setup, you can export up to eight. And this will just take it as per until it's done getting tin ore, and then it'll go to the next one until that's empty, and so on and so forth. So, um,. It's really quite nifty, um, and we'll just fill this up as we can see. It's up at 52 already, and it's just crushing it, so. Um, but next, we'll run into some objects that you will not be able to have crushed through a macerator. So I will show you how to overcome that and what the problems can be to getting the materials from them. So we'll all hit that next episode, but for now this is a good starter on how to automate it. Um, if you go back to some of my previous videos, you'll see how this was set up in my old place and it just went down for miles. To be honest, that was way too long of a setup, but it was my first time setting it up. Um, and this is a much more effective, efficient way. So we can go ahead and safely say that uh, this is a way better formula for that. and. I'm using item ducts here. These are like the best thing ever. They're way better than golden pipes and all that. So I'd highly recommend item ducts. You just have to change if it's going to be sucking out or going in. And um, yeah, and they, I mean they don't require like a machine to push the item out. It, it sucks items out for you as you can see. So um, next episode we will definitely hit up on what the problems are with it and what it can do. So until next time, see you guys. Code Monkey out.